This is a patient who had some shortness of breath and got a chest x-ray showing a loculated right pleural effusion, which was moderate to large in size. A thoracentesis was performed, and that demonstrated high amylase levels within the fluid. And so a CAT scan was subsequently obtained. And we did this with intravenous contrast. And what's really interesting about this case is that we can see that adjacent to the gastroesophageal junction, there's this little collection over here with rim enhancement. And if we follow it downwards, it really is tracking all the ways to the pancreatic body tail junction over there. And if we track it upwards, it goes all the way upwards through the diaphragmatic hiatus and really goes all the way into that pleural space. And so these findings are highly suggestive of a pancreatical pleural fistula. And the RCP was subsequently obtained. And on that, when we cannulate the pancreatic duct, you can see that there is contrast leakage in the pancreatic duct going cephalate and really going upwards into the pleural space. And that was really giving rise to this uh, loculated pleural effusion. And so pancreatical pleural fistulas are rare complications of pancreatitis whereby either a pseudocyst uh, or the duct itself uh, ruptures and communicates with the pleural space. Um, these are treated via stents and thoracentesis, which was done in this patient who then uh, subsequently made a good recovery.